So I'm currently working on this uh, new side project of mine. This is a very simple industrial controller based on an Atmega 328. So basically an Arduino Nano or Uno with a little bit more IO options with higher voltages and relay outputs and stuff. And it's open source and it's on GitHub, so you can check it out, get your PCBs assembled. And there is a library as well for Arduino. So you can program it basically using the Arduino IDE. It is intended to be used for. For example, there are many use cases or applications where you need very minimal logic on your project. This is why it's called fast logic, and because you get logic into your project fast, basically. So, yeah. The idea is that you have an Atmega 328. So, this is an Arduino Nano or Arduino Uno. So, you can program it using the Arduino IDE. Um, just selecting the serial port just as you would um, using a normal Arduino Uno and via this USB interface uh, via the CP2102 um, USB to serial converter you can program this uh, Atmega 328 via the normal uh, serial interface makes sense so you can just connect it to your Arduino IDE upload your code and this um, microcontroller executes all the code just like a normal Arduino Uno or Arduino Nano And what you also get is this tiny display. Um, this is driven using this TM1637 uh, seven segment display driver uh, that is under this display to show, for example, process values or um, measured values or states or something. Besides this output, uh, this display output, you get also two LED outputs that are connected to digital pins on the Arduino or on the Atmega. Then you get three button inputs. Uh, in this case, they are labeled minus, plus, and set. So you can can uh, do some menu or settings stuff with it. They are connected to an uh, analog input. So if you press one, you get a different uh, analog value via a voltage um, divider circuit. So you can read it using the AD, the, the internal AD um, conversion on the Atmega. Then you get an input uh, for a DS20, uh, DS18B20 temperature sensor. So these are these very common um, temperature sensors like this one um, they cost like one or two euros um, and they have this uh, one wire interface which is very cool because you can connect multiple i think up to 128 or something um, of these sensors in parallel on this port um, so they all have a unique address um, you can access from the microcontroller so if you have one uh, temperature sensor you can connect directly here via this mjst um, connector if you have multiple temperature inputs for example a uh, multi-stage temperature reflow oven or something uh, you can also do that so just hook them up in parallel which is very cool i think um, then you get an input for analog voltages between 0 and 5 volts uh, via this analog in a same for analog in b so these are two analog input channels on the Atmega. And on analog in A, there is also a socket for this pressure sensor. This is an, in this case, XGZP6847A. And you get these, uh, or you can get these in different pressure ranges and they cost like two or three euros a piece. Um, what you also get is an I2C interface, uh, normal five volt uh, I2C directly connected to a 4 and i5 on the Atmega328, which is handy if you need different displays or sensors you want to connect uh, via I2C. Then you also get for input um, two digital inputs for 12 volts um, that are optically isolated, except the ground is not isolated. So don't put high voltages on that. Um, but you can use these normal industrial sensors. So these are also very cheap, like two or three euros or something, maybe even less for an induction type sensor. Um, so if you have something that is made of metal in front of this, uh, it will trigger. And then you can read this with one of these two inputs uh, for digital ins. And they trigger at 9.5 volts, I think. Yeah, the most important thing I think is the two relay outputs. So you can switch up to 10 amps, um, even though this PCB is not rated for 10 amps. So you would probably need to uh, or a thicker board um, or yeah 
switch a relay with this relay. They are also rated, like the relays are rated up to 250 volt AC, but this PCB is not made for AC in this high voltage range. You can probably get away with 30 volts, um, but not more. Um, so these are these two relay outputs. The voltage input range is uh, 12 to 24 volts, and you also have an, a um, voltage divider for voltage measurements, so you can read the input voltage. In my case, this is very handy because I'm using this for a fridge compressor that is inside our tiny camper van and um, voltage detection because when the voltage is very high and the, in the battery I dump some of this energy into the um, into the fridge and then I cool down the fridge to let's say one or two degrees instead of usually five degrees um, so I can save energy with this setup. Um, you can buy these controllers they cost 150 euros or something so they are quite expensive um, but yes this is very handy for this kind of application. Um, yeah, as I said, you can program it using normal USB interface. So this is mini USB and I chose this um, USB because, or this USB connector, because it can live in one of these cases and you can even get a lid for this. Um, but for now, I just run this example. This is the example with the pressure sensor. So if I connect my pressure sensor like this, I get a reading from the pressure sensor that is uh, transmitting its data via the voltage output. So if I I can see the value, uh, value decreasing on the display and if I let some air back in, you see the numbers increasing again. And if I unplug the sensor, the reading is all over the place. Then the other thing is that you can control this via the Arduino IDE. So if you're in the Arduino IDE and if you checked out the GitHub repository, there is a library for Arduino. You can just copy to your Arduino library folder and use it from there. I already did that and the library is called FastLogic and I'm running these example scripts I put into the um, into the repository. So first one is the temperature controller. Um, it is used for my uh, camper fridge, but currently there is no temperature probe connected. So I will leave this out for this um, example, but I have a video of that running. Also very handy. I can press the set button. Le oops, leave it for a few seconds pressed and then I can set the number I like. So I want, let's say 8.2 degrees. Then I wait until it's set. And now this value is stored in its EEPROM. So if I press set again, the number is, or uh, the, the set value is stored in its EEPROM. And so I can build an advanced controller using this kind of interface um, yeah, without having to program um, in my Arduino IDE. What I also have in the example, um, get input data. Get input data is just an example for all the uh, library functions. So I have functions to read, for example, the button uh, input, the voltage, analog input of all the digital input, also for the temperature. So if I have the DS18B20 uh, connected, I can read that using this library. So this makes it very convenient and easy to interface with this board. But currently the library is a little bit behind, so I have to change stuff there, but you can already use it, I would say. Yeah, based on that, I also built this um, tiny example script I can just upload. I press the reset button, wait for the IDE to go to upload. You obviously have to connect it to 12 volt power. So I will just do that. And now if I put uh, this magnetic piece in front of it, uh, it will detect. Then this status LED will turn on. And also the relays will switch. Also uh, same for these two LEDs. And this is basically what this controller can do. So um, you have two inputs. Um, for digital inputs, you can also connect buttons or yeah, of course these industrial switches, they are commonly used for end stops, um, but you can also connect a normal push button or a switch, or also these sensors are available uh, with um, to detect basically a presence of fluid levels. For example, if you have a water tank made of plastic and put this on the outside, it can detect the water level inside the container. So I can imagine, for example, a pump controller where you have uh, one of these on the side of a tank and then detect the water level. And if the water level rises above a certain threshold, trigger one relay and the relay will switch on the pump, for example. That's lots, lots of automation applications where you need only one, in, one or two inputs and one or two outputs. But you can also connect like lots of other sensors uh, via I2C or analog inputs. 
You can use the normal library functions I show in this uh, get input data example, but you can also, of course, get the pin maps or the pin mapping of the Atmega and uh, write your own stuff. For example, you can use an SPI interface connected to this header, currently only used uh, to write the root loader via ISP programmer um, to the board, but you can also connect SPI inputs to this connector. Yeah. What is also in the repository is uh, obviously the electronics layout, so the schematic and everything, and also the current PCB layout um, with most of the errors I made um, already fixed. I think, uh, yeah, I think that's actually it. And I hope this is useful to some of you. And if you like this stuff, leave a like or a subscription or a comment, or whatever you like. And if you really want to support these projects, there is an Amazon wish list in the video description. And if you really like to support this, you can buy stuff from that. And I receive that. So thank you very much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.